I think it's safe to say that The Sims 4 is the most family friendly of all Sims games. For instance, if we have a quick look at The Sims 2 trailer, we can see just what audience they were going for. And it's definitely not the same audience that The Sims 4 is going for. No, this is a family friendly game about building a friendly family. But if you're one of those people who long for the naughtiness of previous games in the series, then this video is for you. It's a list of the most not safe for work mods you can get in The Sims 4. PC only, of course. Sorry, console players. So yes, this is a list of not safe for work Sims 4 mods and where to find them. Please do not get it confused with the Harry Potter spin-off film. That's a very different video. If you haven't already noticed, this video isn't safe for work. All those under 18 as the themes are of an adult nature. Please, YouTube gods, I have censored this as best I can. Can you imagine if Rock Paper Shotgun, aka Real Proper Sims, aka Raunchy Proper Sims, gets taken down just because of this video? Imagine ending my YouTube career all because of sexy Gilgamesh. Before we get naughty, a quick note to say we've recently partnered up with Display, producers of fine metal posters to open our very own Rock Paper Shotgun store. There's a link to our hand-picked posters in the description, everything from Portal to The Sims, and if you do buy anything, a bit of that money comes back to the channel, so do have a look. And a quick note about installing mods. Make sure .ts4 script files are not buried too deep in other folders. One folder deep is as far as they can go, so Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, Mods, New Folder is as far as you can go. Script mods do not work properly, if at all, if they're buried too deep. .package files, however, can be organised and sorted however you want. And also make sure script mods are enabled in The Sims 4. Go to Options, Game Options, Other, Script Mods, Enable Script Mods, then restart the game. Now, on with the naughty mods! In my last Must Have Mods video, this mod was mentioned the most at being omitted. The reason it was omitted? Because I was holding it back for the first ever raunchy proper Sims video. This one. I imagine most of you watching are aware of this mod already, but this is that mod. The sex one. The one that adds sexy sex. Realistic woohoo. Virtual va va voom. The digital dirty. The old pixel shuffle. Whatever you want to call it. Making your sims bump uglies that look like real human uglies rather than Barbie and Ken uglies. It's a lot. It's explicit and there's a lot you can download on top of wicked whims, pardon the pun, such as penis models, sex items, different positions for different orientations, genders and anything sex related really. It's a sex mod. It's made by Turbo Driver and you can download it through the link in the description, but most other things will require you to download them through the website known as Lovers Lab, which has lots of not safe for work stuff for many, many games. Whatever you do, do not confuse Wicked Whims with Wicker Whims, which is a wicker basket in the Laundry Day stuff pack. Unless doing laundry is a code word I've not heard about. No, if you wanted your game to be far more adult, then this is the mod for you. Animated sex, nudity options, autonomous sex, pregnancy tests, an incredibly detailed attraction system, periods, sex clubs, alter relationships and how they respond to various sex things, and much, much more. I don't think I can go into much more detail without making my editor Matthew blush. Base Mental Drugs is another one I'm sure a lot of you have heard of or use, and it's a mod that adds, ah, you guessed it, drugs to your game. Naughty, illegal drugs, and also alcohol. Or there's just a separate alcohol version if that's the only part you're interested in. It has custom drugs, new animations, altered walk styles, altered moods, hangovers, addiction, rehabilitation, <clears throat> and pretty much everything else you associate drug use with. Well, apart from the bit where you think your fridge has turned into a giant tooth. I don't know why, but that's the only story I remember from our drug awareness day at school. This mod does make a point of stating it is in no way promoting, encouraging, or glorifying the use of drugs in real life, as there are harsh negative reactions with prolonged drug use. And anyway, isn't The Sims all about having a simulated life you don't have in real life? A dream life? Or an anti-dream life? There are so many drugs in this mod, some I've never even heard of. Not only are there drugs, there are also active police, and there's a drug dealing skill too. It's pretty full. It may sound quite shallow on the surface, but this mod can really play with your sims' lives. The police include getting busted for selling or using drugs, with police arriving, lecturing them and flinging some handcuffs around. These are not the same police that are usable in the active detective career, and when your sim gets arrested, you will not be able to follow them to the station. You can also be raided by a SWAT team, so it might be a good idea to launder your money. You can literally recreate Breaking Bad with this mod. These mods are pretty good at doing exactly what they say on the label. This is the Extreme Violence mod by Sacrificial, and as you can see, the violence here is pretty damn extreme. The mod includes many different murder types, including backstab, death from above, and chokehorn grilled cheese. If murder isn't your thing though, there's also a deadly with a chance of survival interaction, which allows you to bully a sim or choke them to death. I don't remember that happening in the film. 
There are gangs who use non-deadly violent interactions on various sims, unless that sim is part of their gang. There's also a gang feud, obviously, so there will be a lot of autonomous murder going on between the two of them. These gangs can be hired to kill other sims too. If your sim really hates Bob Pancakes but can't bring themselves to kill them themselves, then thankfully they can have their wish with no blood on their hands. It's basically the plot of The Irishman if Al Pacino plays someone called Bob Pancakes. With Get Famous, there are also ways your sim can gain or lose fame points, or if you have the Road to Fame mod, this also works here too. The more witnesses there are to a crime, the more points you can lose, or you can become an infamous murderer, gaining celebrity status for attacking or killing sims. You can also kill Father Winter, so if you're a Christmas hating Scrooge like me, this should be an added bonus. Base Mental Gangs gives you… gangs! Yes, you can get gangs with the previous mod, but perhaps you're less interested in the violence it brings, so this mod is perhaps more the one for you. It does, however, require base mental drugs and the Get to Work expansion to work in your game, but it does allow you to micromanage your own gang, which is something I've always said The Sims is about. There are different gang headquarters too, and the gang names are Simcusa, La Cosa Simstra, 15th Street Gang, and New Crest Thugs. With this mod, you can create a gang, hire members, complete missions to earn simoleons, and even increase your leader skill level, which is a new skill level, FYI. You start at the bottom where you can hire three gang members, at level 5 you can hire a right hand man, and at level 8 you can hire two bodyguards. All the way at level 10 is where you are able to oversee huge drug shipments. Your right hand man is basically your options menu, allowing you to do things such as sitting down with a rival gang leader or asking them for information. There's even a hidden loyalty system which will affect your gang member success rates during missions. Your gang leader sim will be able to discipline bad gang members too, from reprimanding them to beating them up. You can promote gang members or even liquidate them depending on their loyalty points. It's a massive mod with a lot to do. Maybe it even has more than your average Sims pack. Now, this is a little less raunchy and a little more Tinder. The Simdar dating app works via your Sims mobile phone. You'll be able to choose from a number of options, from specific date, blind date, or one night stand. If your Sim wants that new Sim 1 special, then they'll be able to use the specific date option to find them. They'll be able to choose a date location and attempt to have a good date that'll lead them on to date 2. Nobody wants a bad date. If your sim is less fussy, then they could choose to go on a blind date, and then maybe, if the sim isn't quite who they'd hoped for, they could sabotage it. Okay, sometimes you want a bad date. If the date is good, however, a special relationship will get added between the two of you so you can remember your date forever. Or maybe your sims are more interested in a one night stand, in which case they'll be able to choose a sim and have them come over to their home lot for an evening of fun. If Wicked Whims is installed, your sim will temporarily be given the sexually alluring trait so they aren't rejected. As this is just a one night stand, there will be no change in the relationship, but sims will still have a chance to get pregnant. The chance of pregnancy can be changed or removed using the pregnancy add-ons. There are a few add-ons for this mod, so you can really use it exactly how you want to. No Mosaic Sensor does exactly what it says on the tin. It gets rid of the mosaic so you can see your sim's barbie bits and all their glory when they pee or shower. Unless you have body mods installed, or penis rigs, or any of the Wicked Whims stuff, basically. But if you have Wicked Whims, you won't need this. But if you do want your game to be a tiny bit more launchy and not full on launch traumatic, then this mod is for you. Ironically, I've had to censor this video so you can't really tell if it's working or not. This one is not a mod, but it tickled me so I wanted to include it. It is of course custom content, but also gaming related, so I figured I'd throw it in. Sexy Civ 6 Leaders Posters gives you... Sexy Civ 6 Leaders on posters, surprisingly. They're pretty glorious actually, and can make a great addition to any home. I'm kidding of course, they're super lewd. Imagine having friends around to dinner with this on your wall. And there you have it, the first video from Raunchy Proper Sims and probably the last you'll ever see on this channel before it gets taken down due to being too obscene. I do hope you enjoyed our swan song though, and if you did and the channel is still here, why not check out some real Proper Sims videos, like this one on the best mods to improve your game, or this one for the best custom content packs that are better than EA's. The shade of it all. The shade. Oh, and I've had loads of great suggestions for more custom content, do keep them coming because I want to do a video on your top picks. And thanks again to Displate for sponsoring the channel, and please do use a link in the description to check out our Displate store. There's over half a million designs, and Displate's unique metal posters are built to last and use a magnetic mounting system that doesn't involve drilling into your walls with power tools, which is always good. And not only will you be supporting the channel, but you'll be supporting the environment. For every Displate sold, 10 trees are planted, so it gets the Alice Liguori Eco Warrior thumbs up. 
I'm going to be covering The Sims 4 a lot more on the channel if it doesn't get obliterated, so please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with Sims content. Note, we are actually called Rock Paper Shotgun, not real or raunchy proper Sims, and we post videos about a whole different genres of PC games. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon.